Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Mad Games Tycoon. My name is Weasel, and in this episode, we are definitely, most definitely, going to build a console. It's going to happen. Right now, I'm waiting because we had a memory price boost, and I'm just going to make another game. I'm going to actually develop a successor for Painful Puzzle Panic Part 4, which is Painful Puzzle Panic Part 5, and we're going to add a sub-skill, a skill as a sub-genre right now. And, uh, where is it? The puzzle engine. I actually updated that uh, in between episodes. Game size, it's gonna be... You know what? Let's, let's, let's do a double A... The triple A title. Yeah. We're gonna go full out with this game. We are at that size now where we can pull this off. All of these settings and game concepts. Since we researched all of that... Where is it? Yep, 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 yep. Puzzle Panic 4. There you go. 75%. We're gonna copy that concept. And we're gonna have a quick look at how well it did. Uh, Puzzle Panic Part 4. Core Gamer was a little bit off. Puzzle Panic, the Core Gamer was off. So I feel it needs to be a little bit closer to Casual Gamer, but whatever. Uh, other than that, I think the priority was fairly okay. But we're gonna move towards Casual Gamer a bit. And we're gonna change the settings up a bit. We're gonna go all out onto graphics. I know it's risky, but I'll try it. We're gonna have to make people believe that this is the hottest thing. Look at that, realistic physics, destructible <laughs> environment in the puzzle game, and multi-thread support, sure. This is fantastic. Ah, uh, create a marketing campaign for that, please. No, not Full Life, who cares? I mean, this game, Full Life is still doing well. Look at that, 55 million. Uh, we're doing just fantastic. I removed some of the, um, what is it? Free to play business models, no more characters in classes, still gives us five bucks a month. And it does well. Prison Escape, I think we can take that off the market. Uh, Might of Magic, thank you. Made us a million. Uh, where is it? Take it off the market. I always forget that the office is over here. Take that off the market. Good. Prison Escape. Did well, did well enough. Uh, but I think, yeah, full life. We're gonna put our efforts onto this by creating another marketing campaign. Just bring up the boost. 2.3 million players is totally fine. We have 3.5 million capacity. So we don't need any more. That's good. Good news. And yeah, I guess we could train people a little bit better or let them do something. Console research. Nah, we're going to save that money for us. And sure, let's research mod support. Mod support is important. Keeps the game alive way longer. And it's time to create a marketing campaign for a new game. Paintball Puzzle Panic. People are so hyped. Oops. Set that on auto repeat, please. Oh, I totally forgot to set everything else up, like removing bucks and improving gameplay. I totally forgot about all of that. I am a horrible person. We're gonna enable all of these things. Okay, it's also time to hire a few more peeps. I'm going to hire all of you. Yes. How many does that make? That makes it 70 at this point. So it means we can't even train all of them at the same time. It's okay though. A small price to pay. Oh no, they took the mini EXOFT white box from the market. Does that mean we can change platforms? Yes, we can change it. Um, I might have to buy one though. Um, it's been taken off the market, so let's see. Platforms, buy dev kits. The Mimtendo DS, double A titles. We need triple A titles. Ooh. Yeah, the Y box is there. Sweet. Well, I guess we're going to have to change the platform first time that that happened. Cost another 100,000. That's okay. That's okay. Full Life is still doing well. I think we're going to change the business model up a bit by reducing the... Uh, or actually, we're pre uh, increasing this. It's going to make people a little bit upset, but... I'm going to end the Full Life lifespan. People are going to leave, but we're going to make some extra cash monies on that. Now we have 200 million. That makes me happy. The Game Joy Advance was taken off the market. That's okay. Do you want to publish the game now? No, we're going to wait. It's a chess game. That was the screenshot. Okay, we're removing the box here. This is all going to take a while. Full life on the other end. I wonder, you know what? We're going to build another development office right over here. Because I want a little room where I can continuously create updates, even though the other game is under development. This is like a, the continuous problem that I had all along, is that I can't do it otherwise. We're moving this. Let's, 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 let's keep it alive a little bit longer. Why not? Cost us a few, but yeah, keep developing here. Bright Rain gave us a million. 
45%. That's so good. And you only made 2 million on the game? Come on, guys. You, you can do better than that. I make so much more than you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Memory luckily doesn't cost too much anymore. So I think it's time to start development on the console. First, we will have to wait until this is done. Because this is gonna, well, feed us while we develop the console. This is also gonna cost us, of course. Banking crisis, 200% interest. Luckily, we don't have any money yet. We could be our own bank. We can only take 50 million credit, but we have 220 uh, million. Ah, well. People are satisfied with full life. That's good news, everyone. It's time to develop a new console. We're gonna do a stationary one. Uh, who needs three cores? That's silly. Uh, that's okay. Controller in the fifth generation. Let's do third generation. Let's go all third generations and maybe DV discs. And how about 512 megabytes of RAM? <sighs> Stuff gets more and more expensive. 192 million. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is the cheapo console. CD, DV. Let's, let's stick with DV discs. 512 RAM seems enough. I would like a better controller though. You know what? This is okay. 216. We're gonna call this the Schnicker. We're gonna call it the Schnick. The Schnicker. I like this. Which is German for the snail. Die Schnecke. <laughs> die Bar, die. No, it says D Bar D, it's German. Okay, so, Die Schnecke. That's, that's good enough. And it's gonna be in gray. Uh, let's hope this works out, okay. Obviously we're gonna have to send people over to work on this. Yeah, you guys are busy. Look at the swarm of people. The pilgrimage to the console development. I hope we have good enough people to work on this. Yeah, this is not done yet. We're gonna wait until all of this is done before we're releasing. And yeah, whole life is still doing well. Wouldn't mind creating another update for this. Just, just to keep it alive longer. Four million. Jesus. That's fine. Yeah, I haven't seen this number that low in a long time. 2.9 million. I will. I like that developing the console is really, really fast, though. Wow, the Schnecke is done. Hooray! I don't know. It doesn't seem like it is good. It has no stars. Okay. Current production cost is 85. Let's set the price automatically. Um, how much should the development kit be? Zero. I want people to really work on this. Allow games from third parties. And we're gonna start it off with 199, 299. I should have done marketing for this as well. Well, since the price is set automatically, that's all good. We sold 67 in one week. Ouch. Uh, I hope this didn't break my neck. Well, let's just hope for the best. Oh, don't work on full life. Large booth. We're going to go on a large booth with our console and our games and everything that's in development. Yep. Good. 61,000 fans and... Create a marketing campaign for our game console. Die Schnecke. Oh, please auto-repeat that. Thank you. Yeah, there's not a lot of hype and it's really... There's not a lot of desire to own this console. That's bad. Alright, we're gonna release Puzzle Panic to make some money. Producing it ourselves. One week is good enough. We're gonna put all the things in here because that makes people happy. Mm-hmm. 91% and package contents are also good. Let's produce it. At least we're gonna make some money here. Produce 1 million. Not automatic for now. Uh, financial reserves are depleted. I'm gonna borrow the maximum of 15 million. And hope that... Oh god, the Schnecke. Nobody wants to own this console. Nobody wants to own this console. Is it? Is it the price? Is, is it the price? 109, yeah, we're, we're, we're so boned, we made a huge mistake. Ah, it's the worst, we made our first console and it sucked. It sucked really badly. Oh my. <laughs> well, at least Paintball Puzzle Panic does okay. Well, let's, let's keep developing game updates for that. That is really frustrating to say the least, that this console did so horrible. I mean, ah, we really burned our fingers here. Okay, full life, I think, is at the end of its life. 
We're gonna shut down the servers and we're gonna take it off the market. But yeah, it made 100 million, so it's probably worth doing that full life off the market. Yep. So it's probably worth working more towards that. Uh, let us repay the credit. And yeah. <laughs> Paintball puzzle panic. Ah. Well, someone bought my development kit for the Schnecke. That's good. All time 1,000 sales. It's, it's bad. Maybe if we develop a, an exclusive title for our own console. Maybe then, but I... I <laughs> I have a hard time believing that. Well, this was an interesting learning experience in what not to do, and that being developing games, uh, consoles that are not good enough. Uh, no, I don't want to develop a new one, but I can't can't do much about it. Ah, no, nobody likes this. Nobody likes it. Set price automatically. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna sell it uh, at a loss. Fifty. Maybe not at a loss. We're gonna sell it. Plus minus zero to hopefully sell a few more. We, we gotta tap into that market. Not even 10,000 sales, that is so sad. <laughs> okay, paintball puzzle panic. Ooh! I just realized we have a lot of orders. Produce the game. Uh, let's do 500,000. I totally forgot. Okay, we, ma we made some money on this again. Good. Let's automatically produce that. That's why I had it in the first time. And let's develop a new title. Oh, Banking Crisis. Good that we don't have a loan anymore. And let's hope that the Schnecke does better. I'll, I'll just keep it running. Why not? Let's let's have it on there. And we're gonna, gonna develop for one of our platforms. We're gonna develop one of the... Then develop a successor. Or just a new one. Why not? We haven't done a new game in a while. How about another one? Best City. Even better than... Oh, that, that would be a s successor. So no, not even better than Best City. It needs to be something else. Oh, interactive movies. You know what? FMV hell. That's what we call it. And I think we're gonna go with adventures because we're really good with that as a subgenre. And the engine, uh, I guess the puzzle engine will do. We don't need to necessarily make a new one. It's going to be for adults, and it's going to be. Oh, you know what? <sighs> like, make it directly a free to play adventure, interactive movie, free to play. What a weird concept, but you know what? Let's let's try it. It's a free to play. Uh, triple A. Yeah, let's do triple A. Why not? You must choose a topic. Oh, sorry, right. It's about what's a good one for interactive movies. I feel an interactive movies about monsters and the insects. Insects and monsters, those work well together. And we're gonna get a license because that totally makes sense. Captain China, the second Avenger. Very popular, not a lot of games. FIFA World Cup, ooh. Oh, you know what? We should we should probably do that. Let's develop two games at once or so. Yeah, it's not feasible. Cool, Captain China, the second Avenger. <laughs> sure, <laughs> this is the weirdest game ever. I love it though. Okay, the Y box. Of course, we're gonna do it on our own platform. Of course, very important. And uh, let's see, maybe we're gonna buy another dev kit. Uh, nah, it's not worth it. Let's just do it on the Upelmuk. Okay, interactive movie, probably graphics are important, story is important, atmosphere is important, game dev, ah, let's make it beginner friendly. And towards the casual gamer. Give me some copy protection, data shield, sounds good. 89, that's, that's so good. And since I have no idea how to set this, I'm just gonna keep it like in the middle for everything. All languages, only 16 million. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's all good. Uh, what's that? Oh yeah, right. Unpopularity. We're gonna have like booster packs, pet mounts, and cosmetic items. Sounds good. And of course, we're gonna run a marketing campaign on this until the hype is super real. It's the realest hype. Okay. Next, remove bugs. Uh, we can do that in a smaller office. Improve the gameplay, obviously. Graphics. Proof sounds. And last but not least, motion capturing. 
which is super gonna be needed for an interactive movie. I mean, I guess. It's like LA Noir. And I'm gonna put the most capable people into these office. Uh, offices. Make sure this goes well. And yeah, pretty happy with that. Marketing is running. The console is still doing absolutely abysmal. Uh, what about the price? Is it cheaper now? Eh, 99. Wait, who, who set that to 99? Set it to 85. Yeah. Look at that, the 0% market share. Mmm, lovely. Okay, Paintball Puzzle Panic Part 5 is nearly done. Still sells 15,000 per week. That's actually pretty good. I wonder if an update will help. You know what, we'll try that. We'll, we'll do an update for that game. Let's see if that pushes it a little bit. It is quite chaotic at this point, and I love it. There's so many things to do at the same time, it's great. Your employees want more copiers. My employees are idiots. That's what you are. But here's your copier. Works for me. Ah, currently, what's hot? Looks like flights, si no simulations, and industrialization are hot topics. I don't know if they would work together. I doubt it. Captain China, your programs were a little unfocused, thereby some bucks have appeared. Plus eight. Wow. Eight bucks, really? Wow, <laughs> unbelievable. I, I can't imagine what that's going to be like to have that many bugs. That many bugs. We're like a whole team here trying to, to squash them, but it's barely happening. That's all right. Um, bup, 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 bup. Oh, there's nobody left to do an update for Paintball Puzzle Panic. We need to hire more people, clearly. Here, one person. Two, two people. Two people can work on the update. Works for me. Actually, wow, there's some really... Gabriel Noel. Uh, there's some really good people to hire right now. That makes me super happy. Hire, 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 hire. They're all great. I would be silly not to hire them. Go and make great things happen. We're gonna do a large booth again. Pushing our new game, pushing that paintball game, and of course, go there with the Schnecke. That must be so sad, kind of, if you think about it. It's like barely, barely making a dent in the market. We haven't reached 1%, not even, not even 1%. Sad, sad fate. Oh, I, lo I love the screenshot. This looks cool. The work in this game has been completed. Yes. Um, Publish now? No, we still have some bugs to fix. There's still some other things to make it look fantastic. Uh, enable the server because this is going to be live. And eh, I guess the update didn't do too much. Let's go ahead. I'm basically just waiting for the bugs to be squashed. Okay, there you go. Let's let's release it. Let's see how it goes. Yes, publish it now. Release as download. Okay, three things haven't been finished. A new record in music. Definitely is worth putting that up. And 86%. Yeah, it's okay. Time to develop a game update for it. We will make another console. It will happen. I don't care how long it's going to take me, but we are going to make that happen. Okay, you do not have enough money. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, let's just do a smaller update. Uh, Captain China, please. Wow! Week downloads 748,000. That's fantastic. Right from the get-go. And I <laughs> still don't make enough money on that. That's okay. That's okay. Player capacity slowly increasing. Paintball Puzzle Panic, ah, screw that. Economic Crisis, no, nobody cares. I I don't know if we're making enough money on this because in-app purchases are not too high. I mean, yeah, we have high subscriptions, but not too many players out right now. We're barely making enough money. I think it's time to develop another successor. We're gonna do that real quick. What are people really hyped for? Oh, right. Extreme Sports Online did really well. Uh, it was an online game, though, after all. Uh, made us 100 million, which would be interesting. You know, it's an MMO, so we don't even have enough money to develop that. But let's hope that Captain China makes us some more money. Otherwise, I, I can always take, I can borrow the maximum of 15 million and see if I can develop an MMO. It'll be quite close, though. Captain China, come on, guys. Need, need more active players. Egos. Keep going up. That's not bad. All right, let's develop a new game or develop a successor to Extreme Sports Online. That thing did really well. And I'm totally okay with doing a double A title. 
and making it an MMO. It's already at 16 million. If we do a triple A, that's gonna... We can not We can barely afford that. Uh, extreme sports, and as a subtopic, how about just sports? Rugby! Ooh! Yeah, sure, let's make it about rugby. Uh, on, uh, extreme rugby online. Rugby online. People are gonna love it. Engine. Do we have one for that? Ah. Baller engine, right. I think that's gonna be good enough. And there was a really cool license for this. Where is it? CGI World Cup Bundes Bundesliga. <laughs> Ah, uh, popularity is not there that high. Counterstep LGS Cup. You know what? I'm gonna gonna go with this. I know. It's not the highest rated one, but sure. CGI World Cup. Damn it! Extreme Rugby. For obvious reasons, we're gonna publish it on the Schnecke. For obvious reasons. And since we have such a game a good game concept of it, we can just copy that. Copy the concept. I don't even think I have to worry about anything else. If I look at the game report for it, this should tell us something. Yeah, this was all perfect. So that's what we'll do as well. Like features, all of them. 20 out of 20. I hope people are hyped uh, about that and I didn't need more crazy features. Uh, we'll take Puzzle Panic off the market. I think it's about that time to take it off the market. Made us 28 million, so I'm fairly excited about this. Captain China, still doing well. Time to make an update for this. Just to keep it alive longer. We're gonna enable all of these additional add-ons. Improve gameplay, remove bugs, improve graphics. And now we're gonna wait this out until the game is done. Oh, look at that, player capacity. We're actually uh, uh, filling up our server, so I'm going to buy one for nearly a million. Yeah, pricey stuff. But hopefully worth it. Look at that, best soundtrack, best graphics, and studio of the year. We have nearly one million fans, which definitely helped. Look at that, They're big boost. Oh, we are full. We can't fit any more players onto the servers. Well, let's make room for another million. That was exciting, that was good. I think it's starting to make some more money. Free to play business model, uh, five per month. I'm not gonna touch that. That should give us plenty of money uh, in the long run. And finally we broke even with Captain China. Finally, about darn time. Has sold extremely well, well it better. Uh, we're not gonna publish this now. Active players, five million. Damn it, we are actually full again. Wow. Why is it doing so incredibly well? I don't know what I did specifically to it, but we're definitely going to develop another update for it, just to make sure it keeps going. Many fans have written that they're very satisfied with it. Well, good. That means I can't improve anything. Look at that! 0.15 market share with the Schnecke! Oh, so good! So good! Uh, 85, how much will it cost? 85, who sets the price always up? Go, go, go with less, sell more. Sell more if possible. I wanna, I wanna hire market share. Probably a good idea to also create some marketing campaigns for it. I'm not giving up on it. I'm not giving up on it. Die Schnecke. You will be successful. Stop marketing once it is at a hype. One million in-app purchases. Wow. Thank you. Captain China does really well. Time to develop another update. Marketing seems a little bit overkill at this point. Uh, these features are nearly done. Oh, they bought the development kit. We're gonna hit that 1%. That 1%. Video games crash. Ah, well, free-to-play games don't care because they don't cost anything. I don't know, it seems to affect the downloads though, which is silly. Video games crash shouldn't affect the downloads of something like this. Well, doesn't matter, we still have 5.7 million active players and we are raking in the cash. I'm telling you guys, we're gonna make the, 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 the Schnecke 2. The Schneckest. And it's gonna be great. Uh, do we release the game? Yeah, we're releasing the game. Publish it now. For ourselves. In one week, yeah. Not Holy moly, look at that! 99%! <laughs> that is so good! That is so friggin' darn good. Let's go ahead, produce a million automatically. Yeah, why not? 
And let's see how it sells. Oh, this is gonna make our life so much easier. Captain China, Extreme Rugby, Rugby Online, and Tishneka goes on to the convention. 65,000 fans, and I hope we have enough in stock. Yeah, it only sells 10,000. That's okay. Stop production and produce, let's say, uh, 50, no, 100,000 automatically. So we don't need to stock up too much. Time for some updates, and yeah, 99%. Remarketing, budget game, no, we're not gonna do a budget game now. I would love to set the price of this, it's 49. Sure, let's, let's, let's keep it automatic. It is an MMO after all, but it's important to have the capacity to have all of these subscriptions running. Captain, yeah, I mean, Captain China is still doing well. Wonder if we can improve this uh, business model by removing, let's say, the booster packs. Yeah, it's less per month but it removes the free uh, pay-to-win component and hopefully improves downloads. Okay, it looks like Extreme Rugby... Oh, needs some marketing. Oh, I'm the worst. I'm the worst. And yeah, the Schnecke is still selling like a thousand per week, which is great. We're not giving up on our console. Never give up, never surrender. It will eventually pay off. Ah, we're, we're like the Wii. We're not going away anytime soon. Okay, one, one, one last update for Captain America or Captain China. Sorry. I always I always confuse those two. Gotta make sure people stay with our franchise here. And Extreme Rugby Online starts to sell more. Fantastic. Shock Rock! 500,000. I mean, making a new console is gonna cost us like three, four hundred million. So we're gonna have to work towards that. Ah, and it's gonna take us a bit. I'm gonna reduce the subscription price to, let's say, seven a month to hopefully get more in. And I think we're gonna continue in the next episode, raking in more money and hopefully making a new console soon. We have a few years left until we actually reach our own timeline. But yeah, making console is gonna cost us half half a billion, I wanna say. Something along those lines. It's, it's probably gonna be somewhere there. Uh, let's turn on training in the meantime. Do some training. Actually, they are probably fast enough. Do some graphics or game design. Yeah. Everyone who can go in there and enjoy yourself. I'm going to also research the features. And we're going to continue in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.